Hey, we're going to round out the week uh, in Psalm 121 with kind of a blessing. Uh, blessings are awesome. I think a lot of times we make them just really religious and it's just sort of words. But uh, the, the power in the blessing is not me saying a blessing over you or whatever, but, but realizing that God wants to bless us. He wants us to know that the best place to be is with Him. Uh, the best situation for us to have in life is knowing we're forgiven, knowing we're loved, knowing we're cared for by Him and that He's got us. And we've been talking about that. And we've been seeing this word keep come up, right? God is our keeper. Um, he's our guardian, man. He is the one who watches out for us. Uh, boy, I don't know about you, but, but it, uh, the powers that be in our world, eh, I'm not sure we can trust them to, to have our best interests or to have our back. Uh, but God definitely does, because He doesn't lie. He's, he's never false. He's always real. Um, and so Psalm 121 verse 8 says this. It says that the Lord will keep, there it is. In other words, watch, guard your going out, right? As you go out into the world, as you do your thing, you go to work, you go to school. Um, and then also you're coming in uh, as you come back home, as you uh, go to Him each day. Uh, again, that image... You know, if you can connect this with another Psalm, Psalm 23, that we've been talking about at Christ Memorial for the last couple of weeks, uh, our, 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 our Lord Jesus is our shepherd. He is the good shepherd. He's the door for the sheep. It, it says that, that as we go through him in life, as we trust in him, that he suffered for us, died for us, rose for us, that no matter where we are, no matter what we're doing, as long as we're walking with him, uh, we're walking in a place of safety. We're walking in a place of peace and a piece of a place where we can have joy in knowing who He is. Um, and again, this verse is telling us that, that, that God's watching over all that we do uh, from now. And so let me encourage you that he's, he's got you now. He's guarding you now. He's, 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 he's taking care of you right now. And, and that never stops because it says it's, it's from here on out and even forevermore. Um, again, into eternity, uh, which Jesus won for us. What an amazing, amazing thing. Um, I mean, in this life, you're, 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 you're feeling pretty blessed if somebody gives you a little bit of time, maybe an hour. You know, wow, you're really blessed if they give you a, a day or a week. But imagine eternity. God says, you know what, my, my commitment to caring for you is, is eternal. It's, it's ongoing now and, and will always keep going. And, uh, and that, that's a promise we can take to the bank. We can uh, trust in that and trust in Him every single day. So please hit that subscribe button, share this with somebody, get the, get the word out, get this, get this hope out into the world around us so that people might be uh, encouraged. Uh, I really want that for you and for your family and for the people around you. Uh, so again, uh, just hit that, that, subs that, that share button and, uh, and again, send this to someone that you care about. Talk to you next time as we get back at the follow-throughs next week.